Hello, my name is Jeremy Kent. I'm the CEO of One Energy. This is Safety Minute for this week. Safety is an interesting problem. <sighs> Oftentimes, managers and executives are quick to blame the people in the field and say that they should have known better, they should have done something different, they were the problem if they had just followed the rules. But what I find interesting is that after a long period of time in wind, we see the same injuries over and over. The industry as a whole, across contractors, across crews, sees similar injuries. When you start seeing patterns like that, it's not the crew that you blame. It's the designers of the project, it's the engineers who designed the turbines and the machines that we use, it's the system that's broken, not the workers in the field necessarily. So today's Safety Minute is talking about engineering controls and looking at the big problems in the industry. So if you look at the majority of accidents across contractors in the wind industry, you notice that most safety accidents, at least the ones that uh, you see across projects and contractors uniformly, are pinched and crushed fingers, usually from using torque tools, lower back strains, usually from lifting heavy things like railroad ties, 8x8s, the large pieces of wood that we use around site, and twisted ankles as a result of tag lines. It's that guy who's pulling trying to stop and twist his ankle. It's interesting because I don't blame the people in the field for these issues anymore. Those are problems that we should solve as construction managers and as design engineers. Those are times when safety belongs in the office to eliminate the problem in the beginning. Similarly, the two highest risk things that we see in construction in terms of the actual operation and activity of an operating project are switching pad mount transformers. If you're still doing that, that's usually when you see the guy put on his full 40 cal arc flash suit, stand back 20 feet with the pole, and you know, have that look on his face. And then grounding transformers, that's that part right after you've done the first part where you're still in that arc flash suit and you're trying to ground the transformer. And we've all seen it where the person goes out there and can't quite get the clamp to work because it's not gonna work well and that and has to go there and grab it by hand to ground the transformer or they're trying to do it from the side and get it to finagle. Those aren't problems for the field to solve. Those are problems for engineers. Those are problems for the office. Those are problems for construction managers. Over the next couple of weeks in Safety Minutes, we're gonna address each one of these issues and show you what we've done at One Energy to take those issues out of the field and to eliminate them entirely. We believe that the first line of safety is engineering controls. And we believe that we've found solutions that work for these and they've are evident in our safety track record. We invite you to use them and we invite you to share better ones if you have them. We love hearing about better ways to be safer, but we encourage everybody to realize that oftentimes safety is for people in the office and for the people responsible for the job, not the people out in the field. Thank you, have a great week.